everybody. Welcome back. Okay, we're going to start a new series today, and this is going to be on how to create a little trifold mini journal. And this, I've only done the cover just so you, that you kind of got an idea of where this is going to go. Um, we will do it start to finish, and um, this is going to measure when it's completed about uh, six by four inches, and it, it's going to be using a 12 inch paper pack. Um, so you can, of course, use any papers that you've got on hand. It's just purely to show you um, the technique on how to make this and how to reinforce, you know, the folds there. So we're just going to jump in and get started, guys. I am trying to use up my papers, as you probably already know. So this is one of the pads I've had um, for a couple years now. Um, this is my, the second one. I bought two of these. I loved it so much. And so I'm just going to try to go ahead and, and use that because I've done these in the past and they are just really pretty uh, with the lavender papers. So the first thing you're going to do is uh, take a 12 inch by 12 inch squared paper and cut that in half as I've done and you'll end up with a 6 by 12. Let me move this out of the way now. <clears throat> so you'll end up with a 6 by 12 and just make sure that when you do cut it if it's anything directional that you get the right your, your paper going in the right direction. So the first thing you want to do is score this at 4 And then the next one, just to make sure that it folds in the right place, I tend to um, go ahead and fold it and pull this over because I want to make sure <clears throat> that I've got this all. So that's just slightly over four, I, and I do mean just a hair over. Um, so that, that by the time you get the papers in there, you want to make sure that you've got enough room for that. Now the other thing I think I'll do, and I did not do that on the other one, I'll go back and do that. I want to go ahead and round the, the corners on these. I just think it makes it look um, a bit more finished. Now, I take some uh, some muslin fabric and then I just run a, a, a thin strip, probably that's about an inch and a half. But I'll probably on this one, I'm thinking I might come back over it with some lace and dress it up a little bit more. But they they're really pretty, even just with just the plain muslin. So, <clears throat> just going to, I like to have a little bit of it hanging over, so I'm just going to probably add a quarter of an inch on, <clears throat> on each end. And then, as I said, snip it about an uh, inch and a half. This is some uh, muslin I just picked up. Uh, my normal supplier is out at the moment, and this is just nowhere near as nice as what I've been buying, so I'm really hoping that guy comes back soon because I'm getting very low. <laughs> I go through a lot of this um, because that's how I that's how I reinforce my journals usually is with this. Okay, so... If you want to run that in the on the inside and outside, you can, but uh, for these, I just did the outside. And what you're going to need to do now, if you don't have a sewing machine, don't worry. You can just glue this 
um, because you can come back and, like I said, if you want to dress that up, you could um, you could put some lace. But I'm going to start out with it on just the muslin. We'll see how it goes. I might add some some things uh, towards the end when we're finishing it off. So the next thing you do is just run that to the machine and stitch it. You know, center that on your your fold and then run that down and then that's where we are now. So I'm going to um, have that as the front cover. So the next thing I want to do is start thinking about I'm going I know I'm going to sew my signature in here and so this is going to be a journal. So I want to put a pocket here, here and here and then I'm probably going to add a pocket back here. Uh, and and this Actually, it's probably the right time. I better go ahead and do that now. Let me see what I've got already. Um, I'm thinking this would be really cute this time with a little fabric pocket, but I think the ones I've already got done. I had um, in advance done some of these little canvas. I inked on canvas and I think actually that would work and then I can just stitch that down but I think I'll put a little bit of lace along that just to dress it up a little bit. Alright well let me just show you how to do that because I don't know if I covered this in the last um, journal that we made or not but let me just grab some canvas very quickly. Um, in fact I'll, I'll pause the camera and I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that guys, I um, had moved my canvas into a different room. Okay, so here we are. Um, if you're new to stamping for fabric, I use the Stazon. Uh, but just be aware, if you buy Stazon ink, make sure you get the cleaner because it will ruin your clear stamps if you do not use this. Uh, uh, yeah, I've lost a couple before I realized that, and it makes sure you clean them very well. Um, so that's just a little tip, just to make sure, because some people are new to this and may not know. So I've just ripped this um, to where I think I want it to be, and put that inked up good. One second, guys. I want to get this off of that stamp quickly. I'm super paranoid about that because, like I said, I had a couple of them. It's just beautiful stamps, and it, they're, I had to trash them. So. <clears throat> Okay, so it says, in, in memory, everything seems to happen to music. I like that saying, so I think I'll just do a little. Just going to open it won't tear that direction, okay. Just gonna unravel this a little bit so it doesn't look like it's been uh, cut with a uh, pair of scissors. Okay, I like that. Yeah, just a little pocket there. So let me see. I want to put a little bit of lace along the top. I'm just gonna have to find something really thin. Alright, I'm going to take that and I'm going to stitch that little bit of lace along the top and then 
At the same time, I'm going to stitch that pocket down on the back there because I want to get all of this done before we start working on the inside. Okay, so I'll be right back. Okay guys, there we go. I've stitched that little pocket on the back. I think that's going to be really sweet. We can put a tag behind there. Okay, so now I know I want to do a, a pocket here and I'm going to have it about three inches, so get some paper. the butterflies. I don't know, I'm just now thinking. I'm, I'm thinking about changing this. It was just a plain pocket before, but I'm thinking about making a flip out. I think it would be really pretty. <coughs> Oh, let's do it. All right, so let me get a different sheet of paper here. Okay, so I know... Uh, I know that's four, so I'm going to go... Three, seven, five... by 575. Let me just get this other bit off here. So four seven five because I'm gonna allow an inch for the hinge. Ugh. Okay, I've lost my little tool here. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is I've got that cut. I'm gonna go ahead and score that at an inch. Just make sure I've worked this out right. Um, yep, that will be fine. And when you open. Okay. Sorry guys, I'm a bit scatterbrained this morning. I'm uh, going to go ahead and make another... Let me just use some of my cardstock. I think I'm going to make a... I'm going to make a window and then I'm going to make a, a butterfly tag that will show through that. So that's my thinking on that page. So let me grab... more cardstock. Oh, I don't think I like that. No. Okay. Scrap that. Okay. Actually, just going to go ahead. I think and use the same design 
Yeah, I'll do that. I'll do that. So that should be 375. So I think I'm going to go about 475. Okay, 475 by 275. I just want to make sure I've got that large enough. Yep. Actually, I think that may need to be a little bit bigger. Quarter. Okay, so the, I ended up with that four seven five by three and a quarter. And then I'm going to now need to cut that window out. So let's grab the big shot. See, this is what happens. I start off with one idea because I was going to keep this really simple. But then I thought, oh, it'd be nice to, to add some little <coughs> floats. Yeah, that'd be perfect. And I think I'll, I'm not going to center it because I think I might put a little label here. That might be nice. Okay, <laughs> we're getting there. Hang in there, guys. Hang in there. Uh, it's, it's just the way, you know, honestly, this is how it goes when I make um, when I create. I just, Sometimes I have a vision of what I'm going to do, particularly when it comes to the journal covers. Um, but the rest of the journal, I pretty much just wing it and come in. <clears throat> and I might start off with one thing and then it just ends up a totally different thing. Now I know I want to go ahead and emboss that. I'm going to run that through the embosser really quick. Um, so bear with me, guys. Let me just pull it over here. I don't, I don't like to do stuff on the camera. It makes it feel like you're, you're just sitting here on your own. Let me zoom that out. This is a different embossing. This is an old one I've had from Stampin' Up! for years and years. <clears throat> Just run that through. Um, the noise you hear in the background is I'm printing, if you hadn't figured that out already. I've got oh, another journal series I'm getting ready to start um, on YouTube. And it's going to be featuring some of Chapter 1's papers on Etsy. They're they're a fairly new company. Let me just give you a little sneak peek. Here they are. It's chapter 1 papers on Etsy. <clears throat> they're pretty new company and um, this is their do, do, do. gosh I can't remember they don't have a, a lot of kits on there so you, you'd have no trouble finding it if you look them up but I'm going to start a series on uh, making an envelope style journal on uh, YouTube so be sure to check that out that'll be coming up very soon as well um, so that's what's printing off in the background. Okay, so back to this. Here we are again. Let's... Let me go ahead and get my little label down. i got to dig through here. I'm sorry, it might take me a minute to find something. I, um... 
And so, <laughs> you know, you must be so, so tired of hearing me talk about clearing my my um, craft room, but my my room's in a kind of a I'm doing some uh, reorganizing, and my doors on my cabinets at the moment have been taken down to. Uh, Paul's having to do some work on them. They're um, they're not right, so he's going to sort that out for me. This weekend. So yeah, uh, once that's done, I'm going to then do another big organizing thing, and I'll probably do a craft room tour very soon, uh, so you guys can see. I did one when I first got back here, and um, a lot of stuff's changed since then, so I thought it'd be nice to do a, another little update for my patrons only, so you can see my space as it is now, because I have done a few things to it. I took the original video down, um, that I had posted, I don't know, it's been a, a while back, um, on YouTube, so it's no longer up there, so. So I'm just putting a little bit of uh, the ink to tone that down just slightly. And I think I want to stamp some little phrase. So. Again, let me go to my stamps. Yeah, this is another problem I'm having, <clears throat> is a lot of my little stamps aren't wanting to stick anymore. So this is another thing I've got to sort out, because these are so small, um, I'm afraid I'm going to end up losing them. So that's going to have to be another part of my clear out and sorting this out, because they look at them, they're just falling everywhere. So that's got to be dealt with at some point. So let's do... <clears throat> oh, let's do gratitude. Well, I thought I had to stamp my hair this. <clears throat> Here's my block. These are some more of the tags that uh, are included in that kit. Aren't those gorgeous? I like this. I like this kit. <clears throat> That's going to be a lot of fun to work with. It's nice to have uh, some new designers coming in. Um, I know there's a lot of them out there, but you know, you're not drawn to to a lot of them. It's not your style. So it was really nice to find her, and I found her <clears throat> through Angela Kerr. You all know Angela. Um, so yeah, I was really grateful that Angela shared her. Because, uh, or it's two ladies, excuse me, it's two ladies that, that are behind that company. So... Yeah, I'm really excited to work with their um, <clears throat> their designs. I'm not 
I'm not taking on any more full-time design team work. I've had a couple people ask me and, and I don't want to I don't want to join any others permanent, but I'm happy to do if I if I have time I'm happy to do the odd um, guest <coughs> excuse me, guest design team. I better grab a throat lozenge. I'm gonna drive you guys bonkers with my throat. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to, to working. I've got a couple projects I'm going to do for them. But uh, but yeah, and just this year I made the decision that I, I've got, you know, two teams that I'm on now. At one point, I think I was on six. <laughs> and that was crazy trying to, to stay organized. Let me get my acetate done. Um, Yeah, I had a, I had just, you know, six teams. That was a lot of projects to try to come up with. But that's the most I've ever done at one time. And uh, I just made the decision that this year I just, I want to, I really want to scale back. And um, probably going to be making a few changes very soon with with those as well um, but we'll see we'll see how it goes I haven't made a final decision on it but it's just it um, really inspires me if I have nice papers and kits to work with and um, you can, you know, just kind of fall into a, a bit of a funk if you're using the same things over and over. And But I love the ladies I'm working for now. It's just I think in the future I'm probably going to possibly leave one of them <coughs> and try to pursue with somebody else, but I don't know. Just going to have to see how it goes because this year has been a really strange year and I, I don't want to make too many changes right now because there's just so much going on. Okay. We're getting there, guys. Hang in there with me. I hoped to achieve more than just this today, but, uh, but it's taken... It's taken a longer than I thought, but there you go. I had an, a plan, and I didn't stay with it, which has cost us time. But I hope that you'll like this when it's done. So we'll have the tag here. And I actually think I'm happy to go ahead and glue that down. It shouldn't get in the way of... Actually, I won't, guys, just because it's more flopping when we go to sew that signature in. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go ahead and make us a tag for this. And then we're going to call this <laughs> part one. <laughs> Let me see. <clears throat> I think I'd have this uh, tags already pre-cut, and I do have a few, I'm just not sure. Actually, that's, that's going to be perfect. So, About an inch down, I'm going to want that butterfly to fall.
Okay. <clears throat> We're getting there, guys. Okay, that's too wide. <laughs> After all of that, that's too wide. Okay, we'll use that someplace else. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's try this one. a little bit of stenciling on the back there. So it's very rainy here today and I think um, it's going to be that way for about the next week, uh, according to the forecast. So I'm not too sure I'm going to get to do my car boot this weekend. I need to actually sell at the car boot, um, but I think it's going to just be too, too great a chance on uh, rain, and I don't, you know, we don't want to have to go through all the trouble of gathering everything up unless we're pretty sure it's going to be. A nice weekend for it. So I'm just taking some scraps. That doesn't really match. Um, I've got my scrap pile here and I'm just going to take some pieces that I've got left over and just add those to this little tag. I don't know why I keep using this glue. I keep forgetting about my glue sticks. I've got a whole drawer full of these. I must get into the habit of, of using these. Uh, my friendship journal challenge. I was gifted these, so I'm going to find a nice little thing. Use your wings. That, that's a nice one.
gosh, we're running out of time, guys. Okay, let me get this finished up before I run out of time here. Okay, just get a little bit of lace and then that will be done. I've used seam binding, sorry. It's not lace, it's seam binding. I love that color there. And as I said, we'll sit this to the side and attach it after we've sewn that signature in. Um, so the, probably the next step, I might start gathering Oh, that's come out so cute, 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 cute. So that's going to go like that, and then when we open it, I'm actually thinking I could turn that into a little pocket there. <gasps> yes, that's come out. I love how that just, and I'm glad that the word worked out that that's come through. Beautiful. Okay, so that's it, guys. We're going to call that part one. And I'll just clip this together and sit this to the side, and we will carry on um, with part two. I hope you've enjoyed that. Um, I hope you'll leave a comment below so that I know you guys are enjoying the content. And uh, take care. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you all soon. Bye.